Okay, hello everyone. My name is um, William O'Kay. Okay, today, today I'm going to read another part of the Bible. I'm going to read First Samuel chapter chapter twenty-three, and they told David something. Behold, the Philistines fight against Kala, and they and and when they rob the fleshing the threshing floors. Therefore David inquired the Lord, saying, Shall I go smite the Philistines? And the Lord said to David, Go, smite the Philistines, and save Kyla. And David then said to him, Behold, you were afraid in, in Judah, and how much more if he came to Kyla against some armies of the Philistines? And David inquired the Lord yet again, and the Lord answered him and said, Arise, go down to Kyla, and I, for I will deliver the Philistines into thine hand. So David and his men met Kela and fight with the Philistines and brought, the, brought away their castle, brought away their cattle, and smote them with a great slaughter. So David and inhabitants of the Kela, and it came to pass when, when Amathur, the son of Melech, fled into the David up into the David of Kela, and he came down to the ephod of it in his hand. And when when he told Saul that David was king of Kela, and Saul said. God had delivered him into my hand, and he, where, he, where he is shut in by entering the down and, and gate and had hath gate and bars. And Saul called the people together to war and to go down in Keilah and besiege David and his men. And David knew that Saul secretly pr pr practiced mischief against him. And he sent to Beathar the priest, bring hither e the ephod. And he said, David, O Lord God of Israel, the servant hath certainly that soul seeketh to Kela and does destroy the city for my sake. When I, what, will the men of Kela deliver up, deliver me up to his hand? When soul come down in the, in the serpent hath hand, O Lord God of Israel, I beseech thee, tell thy servant. And the Lord said, I will come down. Then said David, I. Will, Will the men come to Kela, deliver me of my men into the hand of Saul? And the Lord said, They will deliver thee up. And then David said unto his men, which were about six hundred, arose and departed out of Kela, and went whithersoever they could go. And they told Saul that David was escaped from Kela, and for he bear, for he, for he forbear go forth. And David abode in the wilderness and with strong hands and remained in the mountain of the wilderness of Zeph. And Saul sought him every day, but God delivered him not unto his hand. And David saw that Saul was come unto seek his life, and David was wilderness of Zeph in the wood. And Jonathan's soul son arose and went to David into the wood. And strengthened, hand, and strengthened his hand in God, and he said unto him, Fear not, for the hand of Saul my father shall not find thee, and thou shalt be king over Israel, and I shall be next over thee, and and that also Saul my father knoweth. And then they, and, and, and they two made a covenant before the Lord, and David abode in the wood, and Jonathan went to his house, and he came up to the Zephites, and to Saul and Jubia, and saying, Doeth, not David hide himself with us in strong hands in the wood in the hill of Hanchilla, and which, which is the south of of Jishabon. Now therefore, O king, come down according to the sire of soul. Thy soul came down a part of the of our, and our part shall be delivered him the king's hand. And the soul said, Blessed be ye the Lord, and for ye have compassion on me. Go, I pray you, prepare yet, I know. I see this place where for his hunt is, and I have seen him there, for it told me that he is deleted very subtly. See therefore, and take knowledge, and for our lurking for our lurking places, for hidden for hideth himself, and come ye again to me with Certainly, I will go with you, and it shall come to pass, for he be in, in, in the land. I will search him, God the thousands of Judah. 
and the and the and the arose and said Zeb before Saul but David and, and his men went to the of Mo and and play on the south of Jeshabon. And so when his men in Sechem, they told David, Wherefore, came down into a rock in the wilderness of Moan, and, and Saul said, heard that pursued David in the wilderness of Moan. And Saul went to the other side of the mountain, David and, and his men on that side of the mountain, and David made haste to get away from fear of Saul. For Saul and his compass, David and his men were about to take him. But there are a messenger unto Saul, saying, Haste thee, and come. For the Philistines had invaded the land, wherefore the wherefore Saul returned to pursuing after David, and went against the Philistines. Therefore they called the place of Slehamelnekelth. And David went up to thence, and dwelt in strongholds of Engedi. Okay, it's ending up first Samuel chapter twenty-three. Next video, I read first Samuel first Samuel chapter twenty-four. Okay, anyway, I have to go right now. So thank you for watching this video. Hope you enjoyed. So bye.